Mm-hmm. And Robinson Crusoe. And if we look at Robinson Crusoe, as I mentioned, great production value. So you know that it's a great product. One of those of ours. New editions, super improved with the new artwork, new rule book, more scenarios, etc. Although it is more, you know that on our end customer marketing, we talk about these games every single day. Every single day there's a tweet, every single day there's an Instagram photo for these games. Right? New board gamers learn about these games over and over and over again. For you, and what is most important, in my opinion, for the game store owner, for the guy who is there, he has the shelf with all the games, and every other Wednesday he has these 10 new games from the publishers, and he has no idea what he's selling, probably, and there's so many titles. If you have setters for him, or Robinson Crusoe, he's saying that. This ain't the same. This ain't this is a safe bet. The King Custard is a safe bet for the retailer. He knows how to explain the game. He knows why the game is good and he can make an event around that because he has already funds. He already sold a couple of copies in his story. So he can ask some people, hey, do a demo for me because he knows they have. So once again, the reminder, these are these three or four games that we will focus on for years, that you can trust, that you can teach them your sales rep, you can teach game store owners, you can teach volunteers at game store owners, because these are games that we will support for years, and these are safe bets. Robinson Crusoe, Imperial Setters, Crime Havoc, and these two types of time, types of madness, and we have two new games this year coming with us. So big in America that if you print the standard print run like five years ago, three thousand copies or four thousand copies, this is a safe, safe print run. If you have, if you have a hit, this is like a nothing. But if you have another hit, this is enough. So for the publisher now to risk printing twenty thousand copies because market can buy as many copies, you have to know that you have a hit. So of course, most of the publishers right now, I'm talking about independent publishers like me, Stronghold Games, Renegade Games. Do a safe print, like 5,000 copies, and if it clicks, we can talk about the reprint, because you cannot risk 20,000 copies on everything. But the market grew so high, so if last year it was Cry Havoc for Portal Games, we had the same situation. I printed the same print run of Crazy Cards and Cry Havoc, 5,000 copies. Suddenly, Crazy Cards still sitting on the shelves. Cry Havoc, we sold almost 20,000 copies. <coughs> because there is no roof if you have hit these days in America. So. <laughs> We're noticing that the that the tail, so the, the window of, of opportunity to sell the game very short. is very short, and it makes it challenging on us because part of our role as a distributor is to have product available to stock. Player board, we have uh, additional components, and lots of goodies for the for the player. They will love it. And we don't ask a uh, retailer to do a tournament or to. We just say, you have these components, have fun. Yeah. Just play. Just invite people and have them. Drink beer, play games, <laughs> give it away. Mm-hmm. Like just have fun. This is what we exactly what you mentioned. Like just make them come to your store. This is what we all what, what we need, right? If people enter the store, he will make a business. This is like if he has a salesperson, he will make a business, right? We just want people to invite to the store. <clears throat> and the first Martians, that is our big release for, for this year, the game has insane hype. This spring we started desperately lowering the hype, and I was literally, you can literally find in the internet interviews with me when I say this is a boring Euro game. Like, I literally went so far to stop the hype because it was out of the control totally, like what was happening was ridiculous. Uh, we lowered the hype a little bit, so we are now in the reasonable hype for the game.